In this code.org lesson, we are collecting treasure with programming. Yay! Code programming treasure. Let's go. This is code.org. Let's get going. Onward. Ooh, okay. Free play. This is Laurel. Move her around. Ooh, okay. Get as much treasure. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna... Cool. We just get to play around. I'm gonna drop move forward. And now when I hit run, I should move forward. I can also step. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Then I'm gonna turn left i think and then turn right because it's kind of like stairs move forward let's see what that gets me oops and this is why you get to debug oh i have to hit collect too i got two of them i want more so if i want to get all of these i think i have to have a pattern let me try though and then i'll talk about it yeah notice how it is a pattern so because it's stairs to get the gems move forward collect then what do i do well i'm going to turn left i'll move forward turn right move forward collect and then what do i do turn left forward right forward and that only gets me three though so to get the fourth one i need to do that exact same thing with code we have something called a repeat loop or a loop and you can instead of writing something twice or having all those blocks i'm just going to ask the computer hey run this three times one two yeah and then it will automatically, everything in this pink mouth thing happens three times. Awesome. Onward. All right. Move Laura to get the treasure. Use the correct block. Okay. Well, one, two, three, four steps, it looks like. Right? And I can do that to get there and then collect. However, since I have access to this, I'm going to use it. Four. So this is technically right. It will get me there. But instead, joop, joop, joop. Now. Since I only want to get the, this will move me forward. And you might think, ah, I'm going to throw a collect in here. I need to get the treasure. This is going to be an error because I'll move forward. And then the computer is going to say, what? There's nothing to collect here. What I have to do is beneath the repeat block, I'll put it right here. That way, everything in this pink mouth thing will get repeated four times. So I'll move forward one, two, three, four times. You can see one, two, hits the bottom, zoop, three. One more time, hits the bottom, zoop. Four times I've moved forward. Now what? Well, I'm done with this. I've moved forward four times. The computer says, okay, go on. And finally, I'll collect onward. The blocks you need are already in the workspace. Oh, we have to put them in order. Okay, well, move forward once, twice, one, and then a turn, and then a forward, and then a collect. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, that was nice. They gave us the blocks onward. Okay. Sequence matters. Yeah, the order of code matters. Okay, so let's start connecting these. Hmm. I'm going to do a move forward maybe, and then maybe a turn left, and a move forward, and move forward, and I don't know, collect. And remember, you can always use step to debug here. It's really good because you can walk through the code in sequence nice and slow, so I can actually see what's going on. I do it all the time. Move forward. Yep. Uh-oh. I just turned the wrong way, and I can see my error a whole lot easier. Oh, cool. Okay, we're getting there. So now what? Once I'm down here, I think I'll actually want to turn left, though, won't I? Yep. Oh, uh, that was that other block. Okay, move forward then. I think this is it. Let's give it a shot. And you just want to use step and test as much as you can. Yeah. Help me collect each. Well, let's see what's wrong. Forward, collect. Oh, there's no block here. Okay. Or there's no diamond. So why is there a collect? I should only just move forward. Hmm. Oh, it's all messed up. There's not a collect there either. Let me see what this does. Okay. Oh, but we didn't pick them up. So right before, let's see, I move forward and I should collect right at the end. And then when I ended here, I should collect right at the end. So make sure to run code several times and use step. It'll make it so we can see the order, because sequence is really important, or the order code runs is super important. All right. Wrong order again. Ooh, they're tricky. So I'm going to do what I always do. Move forward. Yep, that was right. Step. Oh, nope. So let's change that. Move forward. Yep, that's good. Fix that. Got that. And collect. Good. So right till here, we're good. Left. No, that's going to be the wrong way. Reset. Good. Good. Uh-oh. Collect. That's not what we would want. Oh, wait a minute. So instead of turning right here, what if I flip these? 
I'll say move forward again now after I collect, and I'll move up one. Then I'll turn right, okay? Once I do that, I think I'll need to move forward and collect. Let's see. So I use my right down here. That way I only need one of them. Boom. Onward. Ooh, yeah, we're ready for a challenge. They're missing something? Okay, let's see what we have here. Well, I know I'm going to want to collect that when I take a step. But there's three of them, right? So I think I need another. And then turn left. Just going to turn right, move forward, collect. Let's see what this does. Yep. 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 Right, good. Forward. Uh-oh, there's nothing there. Maybe down here? Wait a minute. Turn. I think that will be a left at the end. And notice I'm moving stuff around and I'm being wrong. Because <laughs> it's okay. It's code. <laughs> you should test. Okay, so I made a change. Yep. 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 Now, can, yep. Uh-oh. So actually, maybe I'll go forward twice down here. And there's a few ways you could get to this. You might have a different process. Let's try that. We did it. Now, real quick, if you want to look at this and think, how could you use less code, right? Because we have this repeat block. This is correct. But look, for instance, I'm repeating myself here. So what if I were to do? And now that will automatically do everything in that three times. Let me use this move forward maybe down here instead, because I don't think it will let me get rid of the gray. And now I can get rid of this stuff because I don't need it. This will do the exact same thing. Pretty cool. Both of those were right. Onward. All right. Keep up the good work. Help me collect the treasure. Okay, so move forward and pick that up. Move forward. This one seems easy. Pick that up, right? And then two steps, I think. And collect. Cool. And I want to point out, though, keep in mind, this works. This is correct. But you could also move forward, collect, move forward, collect. If you want, we could use less code. And instead of dragging out all those blocks, we could just have this. Because this will do the exact same thing. It will say, okay, everything in this pink mouth thing now has to run twice. So, all right, move forward, collect. And then, let's step through. So, uh, boom. And then it falls below and runs the other code. All right, let's get all the treasure. Let's. I think it's a move forward and a move forward and a collect. Then what? Well, it's a square, so I'll turn right. And I think I'll do the same thing. Each side's the same, isn't it? Let me just check, because it's always good to check. Okay, so this looks good so far. Ooh, now this one also has a loop. So this will work and collect. However, there's something I can repeat here. It's a square. It has four equal sides. So let me take a look. Move forward, move forward, collect. Turn right. Move forward, move forward, collect. Turn right. Move forward, move forward, collect. It wouldn't matter if I turned right one more time at the very end. It wouldn't, right? That's fine. So instead, instead of repeating ourselves, I can tell the computer to do it for me. So I'm going to repeat myself three times. Go to that and quipal. Both of those solutions are correct. This one's just more efficient. We used half the blocks. Yeah. Onward. All right. Help lower collect. Okay. Down and collect. Hmm. Left. Forward. Right. Forward. Collect. I probably should have tested this. Let's see, though. You just want to follow the order and just watch carefully and use step as you add a line of code. It really helps you think what goes where. Yeah, onward. Ooh, okay. Now keep in mind with these, once you click an answer and hit run, you cannot change your answer and it submits to your teacher. So think about it carefully. Let's see what we got here. We're going to do like we have been and just walk through. Win, run, move forward. Got it. So plop, I'll be there. Then I'm going to collect. Whoa, wait a minute. Is there anything here? So I move forward and I try to collect. What's going to happen? There's nothing there. The computer's going to be like, new no, or something like that. <laughs> Let's see. She'll collect four pieces of treasure. No, it, it has an issue right here. It's not going to let me do a thing. We'll try to collect the treasure. There will not be any, and it will... Oh, that sounds correct. Let's give it a try. Now, if you're not really understanding this, make sure you go back and listen to what I'm saying again. You really do want to get this onward. 
You're almost done. Collect as many pieces of treasure. Oh, I'm going to collect them all. I'm going to throw down some code and then talk about it. Okay, first, I know right away I need to move forward and collect. So I have three. Great. Reset that. But look, I'm repeating myself here. So instead, I'll have a three. And instead of doing this three times over, I can put it in here once. And that will do it three times over for me. Now, once I'm done with this, what am I going to need to do? Well, I need to get up there. So I would want to turn left, right, and move forward, and then turn right and start on this row, I think. So then I would collect. Let's see if this does anything. Good, good. Oh, and I turned the wrong way. Okay, so now I'm going to collect that one. Then what? Well, I think I'll want to turn left and then move forward and collect. And then what? Well, I think I'll move forward and collect, turn right, and let me step through. So keep in mind what's happening with this loop. Everything inside of it runs three times. So I'll move forward, I'll collect, hits the bottom, the pink mouth, zoop, back to the top, move forward, collect, hits the bottom one last time, time three, move forward and collect. I'm now done with that. I've hit run it three times, so I'll drop below, left turn. Oh, and this is why we should use step. Forward, collect, forward, collect. Okay, and repeat myself again. And it looks like I'll repeat myself again here. There we are. Turn left, move forward, turn right. And notice I'm using these repeats to cut down on the amount of code. Collect, forward, collect. Quapow! We did it. Awesome. Onward.